And now time for our Sunday specials. Heavy rainfall which led to flooding has killed two persons and displaced hundreds of residents of Damaturu, Babengida, Jakusko and a host of other vulnerable communities in Yobe State. Affected victims are charging the state government and relevant authorities to do the needful to put an end to perennial flooding which has become a thorn in their flesh. Well, in this Sunday special, Yobe State correspondent Michael Oshoma takes a look at the causes of tragic flooding and possible solutions. You know, the rain started sometime before the hours for, for us to go to work. And um, I had to wait for about two hours to be able to go out, but then it was not even possible because I eventually had to move out of my house from inside the water. During the raining season, it's always terrifying for UB residents whose communities are prone to flooding. This is Babangida community, one of the most vulnerable communities during the wet season. According to some of the flood victims in this community, the flood swept away their food items and other valuables. The rain was heavy and it destroyed our properties, but some are not affected. We want the government to help us rehabilitate our drainages. More than 100 houses were destroyed by the rains in Babangida town. The flood victims are presently taking refuge in one of the schools in Babangida community. As a result of the heavy rainfall, about 100 houses have submerged and uh, thank God there is no life that is, uh, that, that, that is affected. But so many houses, uh, most of the houses, those houses that you know our period dwellers, most of their houses are direct clay building. So most of it, as a result of this very heavy rainfall, uh, many houses have submerged. This is another area in Damaturu called Jerusalem. Its habitants are wary of the recurrent flooding without any intervention from the government. We will be very happy if the government will intervene into this. What we need them to do is let them see how they can make drainages for us. We provide where we can um, um, throw away refuse. Traders within Damaturu residential area lament bitterly on how the flooding has negatively affected their businesses. If rain falls here, the business will be done because there is no drainage, there is no road, there's, people will not come. It's just only this road that you will see people. If you enter here now, there is no place that you can move about. Business it will be down. Some Yobe residents admitted that some of the flood disasters are indeed caused by man. There are two factors to it. Number one is uh, the human factor, because if you discover we have a lot of uh, waste uh, products in our drainages, so if that is being taken care of, it's going to reduce the flooding in our areas. Then number two is lack of uh, drainage, good drainage system in our community. There are some areas in the state or in the local community. There are some areas in the state or in the local government where the drainage systems are very poor or they don't exist. These youth swimming in this dirty water are searching for two students swept away by flood waters. This little boy who was a friend to the victims was an eyewitness to the horrific incident. They were playing with one another and he began screaming and people thought he was joking. When he reached the bridge side, he raised his hands again, and that was how they both got drowned in the river. The search for the two students lasted for hours, but in the end, it was fruitless. We really want the government to help us because even emergency officers are yet to arrive. Now, no government agents. Has helped us. As the country goes through its season of downpour, some residents in the Maturu and other vulnerable communities are calling on the government to find a lasting solution to the perennial flooding which destroys their homes 
and turns them to internally displaced persons in peace time. Michael Oshoma, TVC News, Yobe State.